Uh, it's hard to tell what age I was when I first noticed because it was so gradual. But then I was diagnosed with cancer and had chemotherapy, and of course I lost all my hair, and everyone says it grows back, but in my case it really didn't very much. Uh, I didn't get a professional opinion about my, hair, my lack of hair regrowth uh, after my cancer, but I did get some professional opinion before I had cancer, but what was recommended didn't work at all. My, my life was more stressful with my hair the way it was. I didn't uh, deliberately try to conceal it. I did have some hair. I got it professionally um, colored and I used volumizing products, not that they did very much, but I thought I would have to live with it the way it was. And I didn't realize, I didn't realize how that was altering my lifestyle. When I was dealing with, with, my, with my lack of hair, I would never let anyone take a photo of me. The only photo I had taken was one where everything, where the image was very blurry. <laughs> you couldn't really tell. And I never would have thought, considered swimming, going out in the, in the wind without a strong scarf keeping my you know, hair all together. I thought I was lumbered with it. I wore a wig while I was having chemo, but after my hair came back to a, a certain extent, then I thought, well, this is it. I'm not going to wear a wig for the rest of my life, and so I guess I have to deal with it. So I, I read uh, Sarah Vine's Sunday column in the London Times, and um, she had, one of the reasons I like her column is that she had always talked about her hair problems and she had gone to Lucinda Ellery and been so happy with the results that it just made me finally get over my inertia and do something. When I had the interlace done, I was amazed that it was fine. I felt absolutely fine. Um, it, it, looks so fantastic and looks so so natural and it wasn't it wasn't at all uncomfortable having the interlace system done to me has had an unbelievable effect on my life i thought it would just be a cosmetic effect but it's really affected how people relate to me because i had been sick People took it as a sign that when my hair was, was, hadn't grown back well and was bad, they thought it meant that I was still sick, they didn't have a lot of confidence in me. I just went to a, rec a conference just a few weeks ago where people saw me and it was unbelievable, their response. I was so touched. People kept hugging me, they kept telling me how wonderful I looked, they kept telling me how happy they were that I was well. And since then, I've been inundated with people wanting me to, to help them in business. At this point, I feel like my hair is actually my hair. It's part of me. I can't, this is, well, this is the hair I always should have had. Even when I had hair, I never had hair this nice. So this is, this is me now. This looks like, this is, this is the me I was always supposed to be. It's a pleasure to, to dry my hair and style it because it's coming out so nice. I don't have to you know, rush so I can hide away from myself. I hadn't realized how much my hair was affecting me, but I was actually thinking of slowing down and maybe even retiring because I'm 65 years old. And now I'm totally revitalized. There is absolutely no way I would retire because I feel wonderful and you know I look so much younger and I feel so much younger that the whole light I can't imagine what I was even thinking of. <laughs> I have a fantastic job. I, I really love my work. I love my customers and my colleagues. I'm you know, really good at it and why would I want to retire? You know and why should my hair sort of being a, an influence on me in terms of my retirement. That's ridiculous now that I think of it. Anyone who is in a situation where, for whatever reason, 
they have they have hair loss their hair is looking just really doesn't reflect who they are and who they want to be it's they could be so much more I feel like I'm so much more because now I'm allowed to be out again and it it took some courage because I know I would look different although not everybody understands why I look look different uh, but but it's it's actually changed my life so much I really encourage other people other women to do this for themselves when you're used to going on public transportation all the time and having people always offer you a seat the best one of the best things is no one ever offers me a seat on the bus anymore <laughs> well I'm a native New Yorker I've been over here for for quite a few years now uh, but um, it's it's I of course travel back to the US quite a bit now I think I'll, I'll just keep going to to the London to the London branch but and this may sound really silly but it's comforting to me to know that and I hope that you'll end up um, opening in, in New York just in case I ever decide to move back I would really hate to do that if you weren't there I do know that you're opening a branch in in Los Angeles also in 2012 so either way I think I'll stay in London but West Coast or East Coast <laughs> there'll be a place for me